today we're going to be talking about the glute cable kickback. So I'm going to be standing on a step here, pointing into position, but you can also stand on a uh, like a bumper plate. And this is so when you go down, your toe here doesn't hit the floor. Otherwise, you've got to bend your leg a bit more. So what we want is to keep this kind of um, bend in the knee all the time. We're going to hold on to the handles, although this machine hasn't got handles, so we're holding on to the vertical bar. Ideally, though, there will be some horizontal handles there. So when I'm kicking back, you can see that I'm controlling it in and out. I'm not just throwing it back. And look at the angle that my back is as well. I'm not standing upright, and I'm not bending too far down. This is the angle you want to be at. If, you, if your chest comes further down, what will happen is you'll start to use your hip flexors more and your lower back and we want to deactivate those essentially and just be using our glutes and hamstrings so when i'm kicking back as well what you'll see in a second is that i'm not kicking back straight i'm kicking back at an angle so this should be a 30 to 45 degree angle uh, from your hips and you really need to be like i said controlling the movement not swaying not throwing it back not kicking it forward you want to be under control the whole time. What I see a lot of the time is people just kick back using force rather than using their glute, which is fine if you don't want to build muscle, but we are all about building the glutes here. So that is the glute kickback. Enjoy it. Really feel the pump and make sure that you are squeezing your glutes and your hamstrings at all times.